Bon dia, welcome back. I am Eileen from Two Rivers. And there is thunder going on. Great timing. <laughs> Have you ever thought of buying a whole Portuguese village and turning it into a mountain oasis? Well, the owners of this place did exactly that by bringing more than 10 ruins back to life and creating a home for creativity. This is the village of Cerdeira, which is a schist village that is 300 years old that got completely abandoned because it's up in the mountains and they had no way to thrive at some point. And what they did is they renovated nearly every single schist house that was falling apart. So here you can see a little bit of the outlay of the city. So down there they have this communal area. You can hear the river streaming through. And this is the village, basically. So let's go and have a look. So what I remember from the last time I was here, this water is from a natural spring. <gasps> it's raining. <laughs> Luckily enough, I got my own personal umbrella as a hairstyle, so that's good. Oh boy, I need to get inside. Boa tarde. Vou centrar também. Obrigada. I gotta borrow a umbrella and we're it's a little bit dry right now so we're just going to go for a quick walk before it's going to start pouring down again okay so here you can see all the different houses that they renovated you can rent them for the weekend or for the week or whatever you want like this one even has a very cute little balcony and we even see some blue skies <laughs> so as you can see this village is super steep and um, So this is one of the schist houses that obviously didn't get renovated. But this, I think, was the state of all of these. So imagine it went from this to this. Isn't that great? Let's continue. So from what I remember, this is the hostel. Um, so you have dorm beds in there, and then you have this communal area that you can enjoy with a sunset. I'm going to see if I can show you maybe one of the rooms. Um, I can always ask, right? Okay, so I guess we're going in. So we're going to go into one of the houses right Actually, now. Actually, if you are in the house, you can film it. Perfect.
Oh, it's big. Upstairs is the bedroom and the bathroom. Oh, wow. So people rent the whole house? Yes. Ooh. All the houses. The whole they're all this big. Um can be much bigger. They can be bigger? Yeah. Oh. Actually this is just for two people. Yeah. Uh we have houses for four or six people. Really? Yeah. Okay. The bathroom. It's a bathroom. <laughs> right. It's not like it's not <laughs> special. No. Oh. So how many houses do you guys have? Uh, ten. Ten houses. Yeah. And they were all renovated. Yes, all of them. And were they in the same state as like the one over there that is completely broken? Were they all like that before yeah, renovating? Yeah? yeah? Because we have a fire. Like yeah, of course. To 2017. Yes. Yeah. And they are all in rooms, so yeah. But you have like uh, books and games too, a lot, a lot in the houses. Yeah. So that's it. Thank you. You're welcome. So this was the same, like, all the houses were in this state? Yes. And why are... Uh, more of them actually, they are just in rooms. Oh, they were even worse. Even worse. And why was this one not renovated? I'm not sure. Oh. Actually, um, it's not our property, so... Ah. So here again, one of two that are not renovated. And the rest, they all renovated. Look how cool. Look at this. Hey, I remember this plan from last year. This is the video I took then. So a very important part of the identity and function of the village now is that artists from all over the world come here and get inspired, do an art retreat or follow workshops on ceramics or woodwork for example. And then at the end of the day they can soak up a good sunset or have a nice dinner together. I'm pretty sure they do these workshops quite often, so I'll make sure to put the link um, of their website in the description so you guys can check it out and uh, have a look what they have to offer. It's raining men! This is a good representation of what it's been so far for the week and a half here in central Portugal. But we're just going to roll with it. I really wanted to show you guys this village as an inspiration, but also as a place to look up to, you know, follow their lead maybe, or take some inspiration on how they approached this renovation of a whole tiny village up in the mountains, you know? So it's always good to learn from other people's process in this. So if you want to go and see this village for yourself or stay there, that's absolutely possible. Of course, feel free to do so. And I'll see you guys next week in next week's video um, at the Aparocima.